Right then, we will make a start. Um, good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Paul Andrews. I work for the Digital Solutions Project at the University Centre Shrewsbury. If this is the first time you have watched one of our videos, I'll just explain very briefly uh, what the project is all about. Uh, we've been set up basically to help support local businesses based in Shropshire and Telford and Rekin who want to introduce a digitally innovative product process or service to the market. Um, so what we basically do is all the support we provide is completely free of charge. Uh, businesses can apply for the support. If they get it, then uh, you know we do what we can to help them uh, you know, design, develop and deliver, a, it's like I say, a digitally innovative product, process or service. If you want to know more about uh, who we are and what we do, you can jump on over to our website. Uh, the web address is digitalucs.co.uk. should be scrolling across the bottom of the screen as well. Um, and if you come to that website, you will see this here. This is so this is our website. Explains you know what we do, uh, how to apply and all that stuff. Uh, but basically, um, if you are a small to medium uh, business and you are successful in applying, then um, the support is free. Uh, there's no catch, there's no gotchas, all the kind of intellectual property it's all yours um yeah honest brokers all that kind of stuff so our job is to basically help small businesses in our local area so the purpose of these live streams we've been running them for a number of weeks now since lockdown began is basically to showcase to highlight some free tools and resources that small businesses might want to have a look at in order to help them well do different things run their businesses more efficiently or um, communicate more effectively and so on and so forth so we've done a whole different uh you know list of these things um so if you come to our like i said on our website click on the live button uh, it explains you know what it's all about you can see our schedule here so this week we are talking about podcasts next week it's video editing and the uh, on the 5th of june we're going to be talking about uh, virtual learning environments to help with uh, staff development and training um all of the previous streams are here as well so if you've missed one or you want to watch one again uh, then you can do so uh, by clicking on any one of these links and the videos are there for you to watch at your leisure um, and then of course down here you can actually watch the live stream uh, it's all a bit inception because this is what we're broadcasting now um, the other thing to point out just whilst I'm on this page here is that if you uh, join the course of this stream if you do have any questions, um, you can contact us. As the ticker at the bottom of this video is uh, kind of showing you how you can get in touch with us via Twitter and uh, via email. You can also leave a comment on our YouTube page where we're broadcasting this video or Facebook. My good colleague Verity is standing by. Uh, she will take uh, all questions and stuff and then pass them over to me. So it's not just me doing it on my own. Uh, I'm being helped as I am every single week uh, by Verity. Um, you can also, if you want to, on this page here, uh, request a call back from a member of the team so if you watch this video or if you're thinking well uh, I'm not quite sure if they can help me or not you can click on this little button here and it will open up a little form for you to fill in uh, it doesn't take two minutes fill in some very basic details and then a member of the team will contact you they'll give you a call or drop you an email just have a you know a, an informal conversation to see if there is any way we can help you and like I said before all support we provide is completely and utterly free of charge Verity's just messaged me she said when I mentioned her name she waved so uh, hi Verity um, <laughs> I don't know why you waved either, but it's all good. It, it works for radio. Um, so, so yeah. So this is this is our, our live page on here. Um, so we're going to talk to you today about um, podcasting. Come over here. So yes, this is, this is today's uh, talk. Getting started with podcasts. Now, every single week when we do these, all of the notes and the resources and the links that I talk about, they're always on uh, a dedicated notes page, so you can come back and uh, check things out um, at your leisure. So uh, all I'm going to do uh, is I'm just going to work through this. I'm going to talk around some topics and uh, then you know hand it over to you to have a play around with it in your own time. So the first thing to talk about really is well, what is a podcast? Um, there's a video here that I'm not going to play you now. Uh, you can play that if you want to in your own time. Uh, and we've got you know, we've taken the definition here from uh, from Wikipedia. So, but basically, what is a podcast? Um, a while back, people would call a podcast. People said it's a podcast if it's a sound file that's on the internet that people can listen to. That's not strictly true. Uh, a podcast, like it says here, it's an episodic series uh, of, of spoken word audio files. So the idea is it's not just uh, you know one sound file that's up. It, the idea it, it's it's basically like a like a radio show 
uh, a series of uh, kind of sound files that people can listen to and typically when you listen to them you can either stream them uh, if you've got you know a smart speaker like a, you know Amazon Echo or, or a, a, one of the Google speakers or if you've got a smartphone or a tablet um, you can download the podcast to listen to at your leisure in your car as you're doing a run whatever it might be so that's the idea behind a podcast it's a series of things so you subscribe to a podcast and then every time a new episode comes out you can then listen to that at your leisure uh, in your own time time um, so why might you want to do them uh, for a business they're a fantastic promotional tool um, especially if you want to uh, like say for a project for a, a project like ours for example um, if you want to showcase uh, what you do with various clients so something that we might be looking at as a project as a project is to actually start our own podcast when we might be talking to different clients that we've supported so it allows people other people listening to get a measure of who you are and what you do um, and get you know weekly updates on on how your business is running so yeah, podcasts are very, very handy. Um, I'm sure if you've got a smartphone, it's, um, you know, you've, you've had a, a look at them before, uh, especially if you've got an Apple phone because, you know, podcasts are massive um, on iTunes. Um, but today what we want to do is really look at some tools that you can use to make your own podcast. So we're going to start off, and again, the purpose of this uh, live stream is not to teach you how to use a piece of software. It's to just make you aware that the software exists and then you can go and have a play around with it if you want to. So the first piece of software we're going to introduce you to is something called Audacity. Now, Audacity has been uh, knocking around for a while. I mean, I, gosh, I started teaching almost 20 years ago. I, I know I'm old. Almost 20 years ago now. And um, so I was using Audacity back in the early 2000s uh, to, uh, you know, create and record and edit audio. So it's a free sound recording uh software it allows you to edit the sounds that you record and you can also do multi-track recording as well so again we've put some features down here and we've also put a little video uh, which explain again the video isn't by us it's just a youtube video but it explains how you can use audacity there again i'm not going to play that now but if you want to you know, kind of learn how to use it in your own time you can do so here and we've also put a little button down here which if you click it will take you over to the audacity website which is here. So if you go over to the Audacity website, you'll see there's a lot of support. It is a free and open source tool that you can use. Um, and there's lots of different uh, versions of it that you can download as well. So, you know, Windows, Mac and Linux, uh, also all the major operating systems are supported. Um, when you download it, I'll just show you the interface actually. Um, bear with me a second, I'll just have to change how the stream works. You're gonna see a weird inception kind of mirror thing going on there. there we go so if I call this up here so this is when you download audacity this is this is what it looks like it's again very very simple to use you need to make sure that if you've installed it on a computer that your computer has a microphone um, most laptops these days have an inbuilt microphone anyway so not a problem um, if you do get serious about podcasting um, then it's well worth you purchasing a you know a proper USB microphone that you can plug into your computer. Um, again, it's not for us as a project to recommend any given product that you can use. But what I would recommend you do is if you go onto YouTube and uh, literally just type in "getting started with podcasting," uh, you will find there are lots of uh, videos that recommend certain types of microphones that are very popular with podcasters um, and YouTubers as well and live streamers. So, assuming you've got a microphone in your in your uh, computer, all you do when you want to start recording something is you just click on this little red button here. And then you start speaking. And because I'm speaking to you now, what it's doing is live, it's picking up my voice, and you can see it's recording. And then when you finish speaking, you can hit stop. And um, from here, once you've got your sound recording, you can then start to edit this particular sound file. So you can cut bits out if you want to. You can add sound effects. The reason why Audacity is very popular is because when you're recording a sound file, and you'll, you'll hear me do this as well, is a lot of people will do ums and ahs and take uh, kind of intakes of breath and stuff like that. You might want to remove those from your actual podcast um, so it sounds a little bit more professional. Say nothing like what I'm sounding like now, but it sounds much better. Um, but so you, you can do this you can take out the various bits and bobs but it's very very easy to do so the idea is uh, if you find if you can see there's a little kind of um or an r imagine you've kind of identified that it's that's it there you can then highlight it and then if you want to you can cut that bit out it's, it's very 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 simple um to to do 
So yeah, Audacity is a fantastic tool to use for recording sound and editing sound. And it's not just for podcasting. You can use it for doing... Um, when you're doing video editing, if you want to record like a voiceover. Um, so it's, 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 it's a very nice tool indeed. Okay, so that's Audacity. So what that will allow you to do is record your own voice and save the sound file onto your computer as, let's say, a, like an MP3 file or something like that. That in of itself, though, won't allow you to produce a podcast. That's just recording some sounds, recording a voice, and then editing it. So you, once you've got your kind of your, your track, your audio track, maybe you've spoken for a bit, or maybe you've done an interview with somebody, it's, well, how do we then put that into a podcast? I'm going to come back to sound effects and music in a bit. What you can do is once you've got your, your podcast, well, your, your sound files recorded, there's a, there are a lot of different tools out there that you can use to create your own podcast. However, one of them that you may want to have a look at is a tool called Anchor. Now, the reason why um, we like Anchor is it comes in two kind of flavors, if you like. There's a web version, which we're going to show you now, but there's also a mobile phone version as well, and both of these things are free to use. So what Anchor lets you do basically, it lets you from their website or from your mobile phone is either record or upload the sound files you've made with Audacity into its system, add in various kind of sound effects um, or what's called stingers. Sometimes when you, if you listen to a radio show, for example, sometimes on the radio, they will have uh, things like um, in between them talking, they might have kind of a weird sound effect or something like that. That's sometimes called a stinger. It kind of breaks up, uh, you know, one, one kind of topic. Uh, to another. So you can add in these kind of sound effects to break the, the podcast up. Um, you can also, if you want to, import messages that have been left by other people into your podcast. And if you're using the mobile phone version and you record your voiceover, it will allow you to add in background music. And again, if you listen to radio, you'll hear this quite a lot where the, the, the presenter will be talking and there'll be a track underneath um, that's playing very quietly in the background. So it's not just uh, you know a voice talking, you know, into the ether. So um, yeah, this is Anchor. I'll show you the, the web interface for Anchor here. Well, let me come back over here. This is the interface for the web version of Anchor. And again, it's free. It's a free website. You can sign up for it free of charge. Um, so what it allows you to do, if you're using the web version, is you can record audio straight from your browser. Now, we just looked at Audacity for recording and editing um, sound files. Uh, now, that's what I would recommend you do, purely because the Audacity is a nice, calm way of recording the sounds you want, editing it to, to how you want, and then saving the sound file. If you do it that way, you see you've got an option here to click and upload or drag files. You take your sound file that you've recorded in Audacity and you'd upload it to here. However, you may not wish to do that. You may just want to go live straight away, so record straight away. And you can do that using um, the Anchor website. So you can make sure the microphone's plugged into your computer, click on this thing here, and it will record your voice as you're talking straight away. So you don't have to use Audacity if you don't want to. You can also add in, say, listener voice messages to your episode. So this is quite handy if you've got um, some, maybe maybe you've got some people who want to ask you questions, for example, if you're doing like a, a question and answer podcast, people can submit their audio questions. You would then insert them into your podcast. So anyone that's listening to it would hear that person asking the question. You would then be able to respond to that question. So, you know, questions and answers. Um, as you kind of use the system, you build up a library. Uh, so, uh, you know, if, you've, if there's any uh, audio clip or sound clip you want to use again and again and again, you can do that. And this is what I was talking about earlier, the transitions. If you click on transitions, it has uh, the audio transitions. Uh, sometimes it's called stingers, where you can just push the play button here and preview it. Um, so if I just push uh, this one here, hopefully you'll hear it. Um, and then... The idea is, is you can add those to your episodes as well. So it allows you basically to build up a podcast a little bit like a Lego set. If you consider that each of these things are, you know, like little Lego bricks that you've got, let's get rid of that there. Then you can, you know, stick stick your podcast together as you as you see fit. So it's quite nice. Um, the mobile phone version of it, though, is even better because what the mobile phone version of it lets you do. I just come over to the features for a second is if you've got two people who have the Anchor app installed on your phone, 
you can actually connect them live and have and record a conversational podcast, record a conversation with that other person in one sound file. So it's really handy for setting up audio interviews with people who may be on the other side of the planet, but then using that as a podcast. So it's really good. So if you do have a smartphone, I would urge you to just, just try, uh, you know, go onto your your, um, your app store, uh, Google Play or um, Apple, and have a go at trying to find the Anko app. It should be fairly straightforward. And just have a play around with it because it's very, very nice. Now, some common questions that we get asked, uh, you know, well, you know, what can it do? Well, I mean, this thing here is important. You've got unlimited free hosting. So you can uh, up upload as many kind of episodes as you like, and it won't cost you a penny. So it's quite, it's quite good. The other thing about the podcasting is, even though we've you know, been talking about how you can kind of stick your, you know, create your podcast, you can build things together over these various components, you know, your voice, messages from other people, and so on and so forth, is, well, once you've made the podcast, what happens to it then? Well, the idea is when you hit publish, then the Anchor website will automatically publish your podcast to all of the major podcast platforms, including Apple. So Apple for a long time was the kind of the default uh, for you know the default podcasting platform. There are more now. There's lots more now, but this will allow you to have this idea of one-click distribution. So you can click on the button, it will then push out your podcast to lots of different places, um, and then you can give people the link. You can tweet the link. You can add it to your website, and so on and so forth. But the point is, you give this uh, link to people, and then when you every time you publish a new episode of your podcast, that podcast is automatically delivered to your subscribers, and that's that. So it's a, so it's quite a handy thing to have. You can also, if you're a small business, uh, you can have sponsorships uh, which allow you to make money. Now, obviously, Digital Solutions, University of Central Shrewsbury, we do not make any money. We are completely non-profit, so you know, we don't do this. However, if you are a small business and you're interested in, in maybe you know starting up a podcast and think, well, okay, I could make some money off the side of this, then you do have that option open to you. It's not something we would do, uh, but you know, if you want to do it, then more power to you. Um, so podcasting with friends, this is the thing I was just talking about here, uh, you know, and this this is only on the mobile app at the moment, but I don't know if you can make this out here, you can you connect to different people and have them all talking, you know, maybe not at the same time because I'm a bit, a bit chaotic, but having a back and forth conversation allows you to record a conversational or a group recorded podcast. Um, the analytics it gives you as well, a lot of the time we will work with businesses and they'll say, well, you know, how do I know people are listening to my podcast? How do I know people are watching my video? How do I know people are visiting my website? This platform will give you the statistics, the analytics that show you what's working and what isn't. So you can then adjust the content of your podcast accordingly. So again, very powerful. Um, the reason why we like the, 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 the mobile app is um, at the moment, you know, we're all we're pretty much stuck at home, aren't we? Um, you know, working from home, social distancing, all that stuff. But uh, it does allow you, if you've got the mobile app, to record your podcast anywhere. So you can even get as well, if you if you get into this um, recording on a mobile phone, uh, you can get little microphones that plug into your mobile phone for an improved sound quality. Most people's phones have got really good microphones on them anyway, but you can get uh, some really nice uh, kind of ones that just plug straight into the headphone jack if your phone has one. Um, and then we've looked at the episode builder already. So, so yeah, so you've got two, up, well, say, you know, two bits of software we looked at there. The first one being Audacity, maybe just to record yourself talking and editing it. But then once you've got your finished sound file that you've done with your voices, you can then use the Anchor website to construct a podcast out of your voice recording and add in sound effects, add in interviews with people. So it's very, very nice. Again, the purpose of this, uh, po this live stream is not to teach you how to use the platform. It's just to signpost it for you. Okay. So other questions. Um, we might get asked sometimes is, well, where can I find free sound effects and music? We've already seen that Anchor offers, uh, you know, some free sound effects, these kind of stingers and the voiceover beds. But what we've done here on our website is we've put together a list of websites here that give you access to a whole load of royalty and copyright free music that you won't have to pay for. So those are all fine for you to use in your own recordings. And again, these aren't just good for podcasts. You can use these for video editing. You can even use them if you're doing, let's say, some people like to have a PowerPoint with some music behind it. You can use this for. You can use these various websites for this as well if you want to. So again, to check any of these things out, you can just click on one of the links here. It will take you over to the website, um, and then in most cases, you can search 
the website for a particular type of music. Okay, so um, so again, we can click on this search button here. This is the free music archive, <laughs> no tracks found. Um, so uh, we can search for anything we want in here. So if I just put in rock, uh, we'll see what it gets. Um, is it gonna work for me at the moment? It's, no, wait, let's just go for the genres instead. Uh, let's just go for, I don't know, we'll go down to rock here. Um, and then we can filter by all sorts of different ones. So let's just go for, I don't know, Electro Punk, why not? Um, and then we have a whole load of tracks that you can preview uh, live in the browser and you can download if you want to as well. And when you download them, they'll download as an MP3 file, which means you can easily add them to Anchor or easily import them into Audacity if you so wish. So yeah, so lots and lots of resources there for you as well. Okay, so that's about it for now. Um, so really what we wanted to, to make you aware of was the two free tools, we've got Audacity and Anchor, and give you lots of links where you can uh, find some you know, free sound effects, free um, voiceover tracks, all that kind of stuff. So if I just have a look at some questions, what have we got? Um, okay, here we go. So thank you very much if you have submitted a question. If you haven't yet and you want to, you can tweet us, you can email us if you want to, or leave a comment on Facebook or YouTube. We have three uh, questions that have come in. So Jake, hi Jake. Um, Jake says, is Audacity enough or would you think it's better to invest in, some, in, uh, in Adobe Audition? Okay, so the honest answer is, at the moment, if you're just starting off, Audacity is absolutely fine. Uh, so if you've never done this before, don't spend any money, go with Audacity. However... If you find yourself uh, wanting to expand, uh, if you find yourself, you know, if your podcast starts to take off and you think, oh, actually, you know, I, I might want something a bit more fully featured, then I would say have a look at other platforms as well, Adobe Audition being one of them. Uh, but like I said before, we as a project, we can't endorse any particular a platform we can only signpost uh, but what I would say is that for most people when they're starting out audacity is absolutely fine and certainly for the work that we do with uh, our businesses that we support again for free um, audacity is kind of a workhorse uh, you know it's part of our arsenal we use it on a regular basis so I would say if you're going to dip your toe in the water start out with audacity don't look to kind of splurge any money on stuff and just see how you go uh, Marie says, are you able to use the files you record on your computer and use them on a mobile phone? Marie, the answer is yes. Uh, provided your phone, and all modern phones can do this, uh, can play um, you know, MP3 files. Um, there are, you can save them, but there are, there are other audio formats. It's just I use, I say MP3 because it's been knocking around for a long time and people, I think most people are familiar with an MP3 file. Uh, but yes, your phone should be able to play an MP3 file, no problem. Um, if it's having trouble, though the best thing to do is to go onto your phone's app store and download a you know a, a, a dedicated sound player but it should to be honest all phones should be able to play mp3 files no problem at all and certainly uh, with the podcasts when they get published by anchor if uh, your phone has a, a podcast podcasting software on it and again there are lots of different podcasting software solutions you can get out there all for free it will just play automatically so it shouldn't be an issue okay simon says are there any podcasts you would recommend as good examples at the <laughs> or just that you like well okay um now this is a difficult one because a lot of the ones i listen to they're not really business ones to be honest um i tend to go for i, I like conversational podcasts um the one I like in terms of its production values, but it's nothing to do with business. It's all about old video games um, because, surprise, surprise, massive nerd, I like video games. Um, there's one called the Retro Hour Podcast, which is fantastic. And the reason I like it is because it's recorded um, by some guys who actually have access to a radio studio. Um, and so it's put together like a proper radio program and it's, so it's but i really like its production um quality in terms of its structure as well it's very good because what they will do 
is they will start off their podcast. The first half, the first 20 minutes, is them talking about what they've been up to. And I think if you're going to launch a business podcast, I think that's quite good because it, it, if you have members of your team talking about what your work's been up to or what your business has been up to, it humanizes your business. It allows people to get to know the personalities behind uh, you know, your, your, your business, your organization. So that, I, I, I quite like that. So they'll do that for 20 minutes, kind of a bit of back and forth, talking about what they've been up to that week. Obviously, you know, if you're going to do this, you need to make sure you're not divulging any confidential information, you're not breaking any GDPR rules, anything like that. Um, but then after they've done that, what they will then do is they will get um, have an interview on. Um, and again, because it's all about old video games, they will kind of like contact people that used to make you know video games back in the 1980s, and they will have a like a proper interview with them about who you know about what they did. Um, I really like that format um, and I think if you were going to kind of lift and shift that format onto a small business what I would do is I'd have the first bit talking about what I've been doing that week and then the second bit I would see if I could get one of my clients on there to talk about how my business had helped them or what they'd done as a result of the intervention or the support that my business or my product or my service had provided so I quite like that so although I'd say yeah go go ahead and have, have a listen to the retro hour it it's called the Retro Hour Podcast. Don't be put off by the fact it's based on old video games, but do have a look at the way that it's structured because I think that's quite important, um, and the kind of the the technical way in which it's put together because I I do think it's really good. <laughs> okay, so that's all the three questions that we've got. I don't think we've got any more. So thank you very much to, to Verity for for sending them over. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. If you are watching this on catch up and you do have any questions, um, or you just like to know more about the product project in general, put your teeth back in, Paul. Then what you can do is you can uh, get hold of us, uh, you know, via our email address down here, or you can give us a ring on these two numbers down here, and a member of the team will get in touch with you. Um, but yeah, so we will put uh, this uh, pod, this uh, video back up on our website. You can watch it anytime you like, and. Um, yeah, go from there. So next week, we are going to be talking uh, about how you can get started with video editing. So um, hopefully, we will see you again at 1 o'clock next Friday. So thank you very much uh, for watching and bearing with me, and uh, we will speak to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.